I grew up in Sweden. I am Swedish. Now, when you look at Sweden from the outside, and this is for Swedes and non-Swedes as well, you would think Sweden only had absolutely 100% or 99% all white. Now, it might be very surprising to many people to know that out of the 10 million people in Sweden, 20.1% of them have foreign origins. Now, out of that 2 million, you have 200,000 Afro-Swedes that are people directly descending from the continent of Africa. Strange name, Afrophobia. Yet media representation, TV, magazines, editors, photographers, everywhere you turn, what do you see? White. And the magazine covers are also blindingly white, even though we have 12 months of the year, every single month, it's white. The first Swede. We're black people. We're black people. And white people are in an uproar over this situation because we've been told uh in a door yeah throughout our throughout our lives here in america that the vikings because the norsemen we've been told that the norsemen were white people you got white people that do uh murals of vikings being white men with these big axes and this long blonde hair and they have uh this hat on that has the, the horns coming out the hat and all that and they like to paint themselves as some type of warrior type vikings but thanks to dna now we know better researchers from the university of oslo took the mitochondrial dna of 45 norwegian skeletons that ranged in the ages from 769 to 1066 a.d mitochondrial dna is only passed via the mother because it comes from the cytoplasm of egg cells they compared this dna to previously analyzed dna of ancient icelanders norway is 914 miles from iceland by the way so this is a pretty good distance they then compared the dna of those two groups to 5,000 modern people from scotland and their northern islands england france germany sweden and of course norway well those warriors or those vikings those norsemen were the ones who uh, sailed and encountered the Native American Indians here in North America and established trade with them. Okay, they didn't come here and, and have war with the Native American Indians. They, they established trade with each other. The Vikings were also the ones who mapped out North, Central, South America, Canada. Okay, if you want to use a word called cartography, um, they were the ones who drew up what was known as there's two sets of maps. There's something known as the famed Vinland map. And there's another set of maps known as the Perry Reese maps. Um, and Columbus, the devil that he is, had these maps in his possession. That's what's not told to us in history. Uh, he had access to Vatican archives, which they had those uh, maps, early maps that the Vikings uh, had drew up of uh, Canada, North, Central and South America. OK, so Columbus coming over here in 1492 knew exactly where he was coming to and he knew the people that were over here in the Americas were Israelites because he had Hebrew interpreters with him uh, when he came over. Now, that's another story. Now, getting back to the Vikings or getting back to the early Swedes, <clears throat> the, back to this article. It says the first Swedes were dark skinned hunters and collectors who moved to Scandinavia from the south at the end of the Ice Age. There they were quickly joined by another immigration wave this time from the east, resulting in Stone Age Europe's most diverse population. A new documentary by the uh, Sweden's national SVT broadcaster has claimed the first Swedes, a new documentary by the SVT national broadcaster, has been met with critical reaction and backlash ahead of its airing. It hasn't even been aired yet. Now, I'm going to read here what a professor named Matthi Matthias Jacobson, a professor of genetics in Uppsala University and a researcher of the Atlas Project. This is what he says, which aims what, what he the research he does maps the human genome. His research is on mapping the human genome. 
Now, what he says is this. Uh, he maps the genome of Sweden's early population. He stressed that unlike present day Swedes, their ancestors had dark skin as a legacy of their African origin. 